Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a drill. This is my Pan That Palette update for February. Get the party poppers out, get the champagne out. We are celebrating today. I'm so, so excited to bring this video to you. I may have spoiled it a little bit in the thumbnail, but I've never been so excited to film a video before. Stick around because this one is going to be insane. So if you are new to this project, Hello, you're joining us on a very, very happy update today. So I am working on three face palettes, which you may think that is a hell of a lot. It is about to go down to two. So I'm working on my Huda Beauty Summer Solstice palette. This was my Pan That palette for 2023, and I have rolled it in to 2024 to try and finish it off. And for 2024, I let you guys vote on what Pan That palette you wanted to see me pan this year, and you chose these duos. So I have the Zoeva Spice of Life and the Zoeva Cocoa Blend. So I'm working on all of these palettes not for long but just before we do jump into this video if you have not already you know what to do like and subscribe because this video is insane okay you do not want to miss future updates because i'm just so unbelievably happy with my progress in this video this video is the one that will make you want to subscribe will make you want to stick around i guarantee i do so many project pans here with bright fun colorful makeup today i'm wearing some of my pan those eyeshadows shades and that video will be coming live very very soon so stick around to check that out. Okay normally I try and build suspense and I talk about the least exciting thing first but today I cannot control myself okay I cannot contain my excitement I'm gonna start with the Huda Beauty Summer Solstice palette. So like I said, I have been panning this for a year and two months. This was my 2023 pan that palette. And it had a Franken blush, a bronzer topper, a highlighter and another blush in it as well. I've been working so hard on this. So without further ado, first of all, I'm gonna share with you what this looked like when I first rolled it in all the way back in January 2023. This was a pristine palette, pretty much. I had two Franken shades, which were Saint-Tropez and Mykonos. Mykonos was made up of a Pan That Palette product from 2022, so even before last year, it's been a long time in the making. Saint-Tropez was made up of two eyeshadows and one blush so once we had that finished it was going to be an incredible empties and Malibu and Copacabana were original shades to this palette. So this is what it looked like in January of 2024 so one year later and you can see the progress on this was incredible. I did have Copacabana still pretty much full but I did say that I'm just gonna declutter that product. I don't like that product. I'm not going to be finishing it. And Saint-Tropez was so close to being finished. That was my goal, to finish Saint-Tropez this month. And this is what it looks like today. Oh my goodness me, it's an empty palette. It is completely gone. I am so excited. I have worked on this palette for so long and it is finally done look at this four shiny empty pans look at this look at this it is completely gone i'm so happy it is completely gone i have done a shorts video of me just destroying this shade i don't like it it was not nice a lot of people were saying oh maybe you could franken it with this or that or the other no i'm just getting rid of it i don't like it i'm goodbye 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 we have finished this shade. Let me tell you, the amount of blush that I have on my face today is ridiculous. I finished this today. Oh my goodness me. I have finished two eyeshadows and one blush. So in this shade was Strawberry Sweets and Festive Flame, I think, from the Soph X Revolution palette. And also my Beauty Bay Peachy Blush. It's gone. They are all gone. I'm so I'm so happy. I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so the only shade that I have left was this shade. Uh, it had been a little bit over a month since I had updated this palette. So I had used it 37 times since the last time you saw it. For a grand total of 213 uses to completely finish it. I'm 
so unbelievably proud of myself. This is done. The Huda Beauty Summer Solstice Palette is done. It is complete. So I was a little bit of a dummy and I forgot to weigh this before I destroyed Copacabana, but I do have the weights without Copacabana. But please keep in mind that it's not the total usage for this month because I have got rid of a whole shade. So last time I weighed this, it was 122.39 grams. And today it weighs 114.05 grams, meaning that in a month we lost 8.34 grams, which of course is not the total usage weight at all. It's just, yeah, it's it. This is it. This is it. It's done. I don't know what else to say. I'm so happy. It is completely gone. Ah, it's the end of an era. <laughs> With that being said, I still have a massive smile on my face. I am gonna update these two palettes, which do not go anywhere because the progress in these palettes is insane. I've only been working on these for one month, but already I'm, I'm close to finishing quite a few of them. So just stick around. So I'm gonna start with the Spice of Life palette. So this is what it looked like last month. You could see it had a bronzer and a blush in this duo. And both of them were pretty unused when I rolled them in last month. I did have a little bit of a scrape with Sinfully Delicious. There is a big nail gouge out of it that is accidental. That is not use, that is an accident. And this is what it looks like today. You can see massive progress already. The bronzer has the rings showing in it. I have used this so much and already it is looking very, very close to pan. And of course, I do have a tiny, tiny baby pan in Sinfully Delicious, but I'm not going to be counting that because like I said, it was an accidental gouge and I've used it a few times this month to hit that pan, but I'm not counting it as pan. Look at the progress already. This is insane. This shade has all the rings showing. It has a massive dip in it. And I really think I'll be able to hit pan in this very, very soon. I was not expecting this to have this much use on it already. I really think I'll be able to finish both of these palettes very, very soon, which is insane. But sweet relief, I have used a total of 24 times. Obviously, I've only had them in for a month. And Sinfully Delicious, I have only used three times, but that's because I've been working so hard on my Huda blush to try and finish that off. So the blushes this month in both of these palettes have not been used much at all. That is why, but the other shades definitely have. I'm so impressed with this shade. I really don't think I've used it that much, but the progress is insane. Even holding it this way, I can see the amount that has been used in this. It is crazy. I've used so much of this. I was not expecting this to have this much progress in it already, but I'm really, really happy. I'm so happy. Hopefully next month I'll be able to have pan on this. So for the weights, last month we weighed 46.63 grams and this month we weigh 45.81 grams, meaning we lost 0.82 grams, which I think is really, really good. I'm very happy with that. And then finally, let's move on to this bad boy. This is the Zoeva Cocoa Blend and this is what it looked like last month. We already had a pan in the highlighter when we rolled this in. It was only a little pan, but it was pan nonetheless. It was something to work with and the blush really hadn't been used that much. And this is what it looks like today. Look at this pan expansion in the dessert. It is insane. I am so unbelievably happy with this pan. And unfortunately I have not touched the blush this month for reasons stated before in this video. This highlight is gonna be done in a few months. Like, look at this. Look at this. I've used it 25 times this month. And like I said, I have not touched the blush, but we have had a lot of weight loss again. Last month we weighed 45.87 grams. And this month we weighed 45.42 grams, meaning we lost 0.45 grams. How incredible is this? There really doesn't seem to be much product in these two little palettes. And I really think I'm gonna be finished with them 
pretty soon. The progress in Sweet Relief is really baffling to me because I really didn't have much progress in this rolling this into this project. How many times can I say this in a sentence? Oh my god. <laughs> but it makes me think if I can have this much progress in 24 uses, the blushes really aren't going to take that long to use up either. And I'm just feeling really confident. I think I'm gonna have these done way before the end of the year. And it's the same story for my Pam That Eyeshadow palette as well. So I think Pam That palette is gonna be a massive success for this year, both the face palettes and the eye palettes. And now that I have this massive palette out as well, I only have these two to focus on. I am just unbelievably excited and I cannot wait for the future of this project. And I hope you're as excited as I am as well. So just one last look at this Huda palette. Look at her, she's gone. It is shiny, shiny, shiny pans. I'm just so unbelievably excited. Oh my God, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> so this is it for this update. I'm gonna leave because otherwise I'm just gonna be rambling on. I am buzzing. I am so excited. You really don't wanna miss this project pan definitely like and subscribe because I think we're gonna have some more amazing progress next month in both of these bad boys. My Pan That Eyeshadow palette is also coming live very soon, so you don't wanna miss that, stick around. And with that being said, I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye bye!